lesson study can take lots of different forms in, in uh, different projects. Uh, the way our current uh, project is organized is a, a teacher is signing up for an intensive one-year uh, commitment and uh, other teachers have the opportunity to participate in some of the project's uh, activities over the course of that year but aren't involved in the lesson study aspect. So over the course of a year we start off in the summertime, we bring in uh, three historians. One historian is, uh, does a focus on uh, the legal and political uh, uh, history of the theme that we're exploring, another the social history, a third the economic history of that theme. Then uh, I work with two teachers, uh, two professors from the University of Portland, and they're focusing on historical thinking and literacy needs of students and strategies to, to help students engage with that. Teachers begin uh, the process of planning a lesson during that one week summer institute. Then in the fall they get together for a couple of evenings and further plan out their lesson, further consider other strategies, and then they do a demonstration lesson in the fall. In the spring we start up again uh, with the addition of a trip. Uh, we do a week-long uh, history on location uh, study of the historical theme and, uh, and then follow up with another part of the lesson study cycle in, in the spring. Uh, we also have a, a variety of events with historians over the course of the year connected to the theme, including one uh, with a, a local partner that focuses on the, the regional connection to that theme. In lesson study, the ideal size for a group is about four to six participants. Uh, uh, however, we have had groups which for different reasons have had fewer or have had more, um, but it seems as though four to six is the right number of participants for a lesson study group. We've played with our approach uh, in response to the feedback that teachers have given us and in response to the, the evaluation that we've received uh, from our third party evaluator. Um, uh, lesson study in our previous uh, project, lesson study was written into our proposal, but it wasn't budgeted. And lesson study is something that requires uh, having substitutes in the for all teachers involved when the demonstration lessons happen. Uh, so we worked with professional learning teams and a professional learning team structure of collegial in inquiry and collaborative work, but without a true lesson study of writing a lesson together and observing the lesson. In this new uh, uh, grant that we're in right now, which we're in the second year of, we've been able to embed it fully into it because it was in there in the planning stages and on the, on the budget page. Um, the uh, last year we did a single lesson study cycle with teachers. What we found was that we really wanted to do two lesson study cycles with, with teachers, uh, assuming that a group comes together more fully after having done it through once and, and will be able to maximize and, and have a more enhanced experience the second time around. The organization of lesson study teams uh, can happen in many different ways. One uh, way that it could happen is geography. So again, I'm working in, uh, with a project that deals with teachers through a uh, very uh, large geographic zone. Um, so uh, sometimes we'll organize teachers based on uh, within a district or based on within a school. Other times it goes based on interest or familiarity with each other. Other times it, uh, people just fall into each other's arms. Uh, we've, we've tried it different ways. We'll continue to try it, try it different ways. Um, we uh, have had mixed results with the idea of lesson study teams being organized uh, outside of assignment areas. Um, uh, what is important is that everybody who's on the planning team has a vested interest in creating a lesson that uh, they can use in their classroom. That can happen across assignment areas. If uh, one person in the group teaches Washington State history and another person teaches uh, U.S. history, they can write a lesson together that gets uh, tweaked a little bit for the one setting and a little bit for the other setting. Likewise in uh, vertical age groups, you can have a team with 5th, 8th, and 11th grade teachers 
if they're looking at the same uh, historical idea, but thinking about that across a developmental uh, range, and so they can, they can tweak it. What doesn't work is when a teacher says, uh, well, that's not really what I teach, so I'll, I'll participate in this. I'll give it my best effort, but it's not really what I teach, so I'm not going to go anywhere with it. It's not mine. What, it, what uh, people need to feel is ownership about the lesson.